Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. His men have come to stay in our state. Learn how to coexist with them. Enugu Assembly declares, as they passed public ranch agency bill intended to end farmer header crisis. Yes, that is what is happening in Enugu State House of Assembly. Yes, the Enugu State House of Assembly has passed the public ranch agency bill. Yes, which authorizes the state government to set up an agency to manage both government and privately owned ranches in Enugu State. Yes, I think this is executive bill. So now the state assembly said they have passed this bill now. Yes, they are calling for the implementation by the executive arm of the government. Yes. Now look at what they are saying, talking about the members of the House in Enugu State. Speaking before the passage of the bill, the member representing Ibueze North Constituency 2, named Clifford Obe, said that the legislation would end the farmer header crisis in the state. Look at what he said. He said this farmer header crisis was responsible for the low agricultural output in the market in the Enugu State. He continued to say many farmers have been driven out of their farms, which has increased crime and rural urban migration. That's what he said. Now, this one is talking as if this is issue of uh, farmer header crisis, like Buhari was said. This is not farmer header crisis. This is full and invasion. Yes. Full and invasion. Hate men invading communities, attacking people. Unprovoked, unwarranted. Oh, yes. Unbridled attacks. It's not haters' crisis. It's not farmer hater crisis. Okay? This is assailants. Masculine as hate men. Yes, terrorists. And you are saying farmer hater crisis. Okay? Now, another lawmaker, yes, that is talking about um, Okechuku Aneke, representing Udi Sad constituency in his own. He noted that there is no need for people to be afraid of the bill. According to him, headers are not only Fulani. He said that the headers have come to stay, urging the people of the Enugu state to learn how to coexist with them as the headers have come to stay that's what he said he said headers have come to stay you have seen it so the aneke said quote this agency when established will have a designated area where the cattle and the headers will be stationed any header who is found in a bush and not in the designated place should be treated as an intruder and a kidnapper that's what he said now look at another lawmaker, Chimo Obiese. He said he's regretting that people condemning the bill are arguing about what they don't know. According to him, there, there's nothing on the bill for people to shout about. You have seen it. Now he said he asked the public not to discourage people from other parts of the country from coming to Enugu to do business. That's Fulani people. He said the Enugu should stop discouraging anybody. You know, from other parts of the country, like Fulani people, to come to Enugu to do, to do business, say they should be allowed to come to Enugu State to transact their business. Fulani hate men. Yes, they said they are going to collect tax from them. You have seen it now. I said before, headers don't pay, pay tax, but now with this bill, or with this law, extant law in Enugu State now, the bill being passed into law, they will be paying tax now. So because of tax, you are saying Fulani has men, come, come and do how much is the tax they're going to pay? Tell me how much they're going to pay. This Fulani has men. How much are they going to pay? People are making this kind of uh, statements. Okay? That's very secure very risky statement. This these statements they, they are threat to security of life and, and property of Enugu people. These statements, these lawmakers are, you know, dishing out. Some say, oh, they have come to stay. Fulani Hesmen have come to stay. Some say, now, 
allow them to come and do business. Stop discouraging them to come to Enugu State to do business. Look at the statement people are making. So I'm saying now that they will start paying tax. So look at statements. You know, they are security risk to people. And they say people should stop shouting. They don't know anything about the bill. What do you know about the bill that, you know, you are calling people different henchmen to come to Enugu to start business. But because they will stay at a place. What, 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 what's the meaning of that? They will stay at a place. They don't move around. But they will come and stay at a place. If they're not, if they're not staying at a place, they will be seen as kidnappers. So, they have seen what they're doing. Now we have said, will the people have even stopped eating this meat? Yes. They don't want the meat again. The government is... They are, they are forcing people to eat this meat, this Fulani cow. Why forcing them? If you want to eat the meat, carry the Fulani herdsmen, put in your family, in your immediate family, put them there. there. If you're a governor, put them inside your house. Not government house, so put them inside that your family house. Yes. May they not come out to anywhere, any other place. May they stay inside, inside that your family house. Okay? Yes. So that you know how they operate and what they do. Since nothing concerns you, because you're in the government house enjoying, and the friendly headsmen, you have seen what they're doing, terrorizing the community members. Okay? And you stay in your cozy office and be dishing out legislation. We have done this. We have passed the bill. Go and carry them put inside your family house. Let us know that you're serious. Yes? When you do that, we know that you're serious. Carry Fulani Hitchman put inside your family house. You governor, you house member. Now you, you are telling the people, coexist with them, live with them. They have come to stay. What a statement. Okay? This thing is capable of triggering, you know, you know upheaval. Yes. The people of Benway State, in Josh, in Plateau, in the internal central states, they are suffering this kind of thing. Because they said, Fulani Hesman, come and stay. Come and stay. We are nomads. They are just nomads now. You know, they are not carrying gun. Even someone said, one house member said that, oh, they are not the, the Fulani Hesman, they are not uh, the one attacking the people. They are not the ones attacking the people. They are just henchmen. That the attackers, they are different from the henchmen. Who said that? Go and ask Benway people. Yes. Go and ask them. The people of, of, of Middle Belt. Go and ask them. They welcome these people. Say, oh, they are just nomads. They are wearing cows. But at last, what is happening? They go and bring their brothers. The attackers. The terrorists. They mix up with them. They also claim that they are wearing cow and they are attacking people. So how do you know them? How do you differentiate the attacker and the, the one who is not attacking? Yes, how do you differentiate? All of them are, are carrying cows, following the cows, wearing AK-47 rifle. Okay? If you do any little thing with those ones who are carrying stick, the next two hours you see those who are carrying AK-47. Who invited them? Who informed them? They are working together. So these people don't know these things. And they will say, no, they are, this, they are different. They are not the same. The ones who are seeing their kind of stick. Who told you? This one are going they are going to, you know, normalize and you know, get approval of the people. Because they don't wear gone. They don't be a gun. And so the people will receive them and will even accommodate them. Now they will now invite the troublemakers. They will start the reinvention. That is it. But look at what I'm saying here. 